new song for you. Oh yeah, the Ninja 500, aka the EX500R. So yeah, this is a farewell video to this beautiful bike. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna flip shit when you know how much I sold this for. Um, uh, 13, uh, five, 1,350 bucks. Um, I have about 16 into it for the bike and all the, uh, I guess upkeep you could call it. So I got also a year and a half out of that, uh, two, uh, $300 chunks. Um, one for inspection and then, uh, some carburetor rebuild, uh, new back tire. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess you know I converted my shit to stop, uh, LED. Um, you saw the chopped pipe video. My friends were complaining that this small little half of a not even nub was not enough, so I gave them like a huge BMX foot peg and they loved it. And I kind of liked it. Uh, it kind of enabled you to like kind of goof around while you were riding. Um, sorry it's getting dark out. Um, let's see, shorty levers. Um, you can fit four hand fingers on there actually quite comfortably as long as you snug your hand up, which uh, I loved that about it, and very reasonably priced for the looks and everything. Um, yeah, so anyways, I started getting rid of all my accessories here, but I used to have like a knife and some nunchucks because it's a ninja, and uh, some like flashlights and wrenches and stuff right on the radiator. Um, and then I had, uh, have this actually has fuel in it right now. This is my fuel bottle. I had to drive it home because it was my maiden test whether or not I would heat it up. And luckily, I ripped the shit out of it recently, uh, after I took that off. But, um, yeah, it, uh, it, it wasn't warm at all, even on that edge, which was good. But I, you, I might want to put a heat shield there for the future. That, I, that was just a very short trip home, so I thought I would be okay. Um, yeah, this bike is running excellent right now. And I had these fairings for it. And on eBay, these are like $400 fairings. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the red matches, that's the DuPont red, NASCAR paint, and whatever the previous owner painted on the tank. His paint does not hold up to, uh, gas very well. That's why I put that Kawasaki sticker on there. Um, for you guys who don't know, the, or the, yeah, the idle screw is right under here. Overall about this bike, um, for 500, it was definitely sufficient. It was definitely fun. Um, I consider myself a speed freak though. I wish it had like 50 more cc's, like the XJ600, that had just enough power. This has almost just enough power, but you know, the XJ600 with this, uh, if I had done the exhaust and uh, jets like this bike, it would have been very proficient. This bike, I, you know, I went from the XJ600 to the Jixxer, uh, to this I guess and I knew I had to sacrifice some engines so the whole time I was on it I kind of was feeling it and I felt bad when I was ripping on it so you know there's always that like it will go as fast but you know you're just gonna hurt it um, so I don't you know uh, these bikes are not to be fucked around with like they have a strong engine uh, the trans pretty strong on this bike I would say I guess I mean clutch too um, so one complaint I have about this bike is just the steel frame. It is so heavy. Um, I would put the kickstand down and it would always sink in dirt. The previous owner had a weird kickstand problem. The kickstand's actually pretty good. It's just a weird, heavy bike. Um, another thing is the handlebars. They don't lower uh, themselves. So. You have to get a kit that mounts lower, but then you can't have your top fairing on. So uh, 
you would have to run like Street Fighter. Um, luckily I am selling this like with like this like jiggly headlight and uh, with those fairings not put on, I really don't feel like putting them on because uh, from it falling over in the grass, uh, these things bend a little bit and therefore they wouldn't match up with the holes uh, right here. Uh, so um, yeah, this, this paint job came out really great. Um, I'll post some pictures of the bike and uh, these parts in daylight at the end of this video. Um, as far as uh, reliability goes, I know this would need so little maintenance. Uh, a, it was well kept, and B, I'm talking about things like uh, just the way that they strung the, uh, uh, the cables or maybe the quality of the cables for this type of bike, but uh, they don't feel like they bind and um, uh, and uh, they haven't worn out like on my Jixxer they would wear out all the time and I, I actually tried different like setups for how the cords went and I, I guess that Jixxer might have had a heavier clutch even though the guy today did say it has, this had a pretty stiff clutch I would say it's uh, I don't know how much he rides but I would say it's like uh I would say it's medium, honestly.